Hi, I'm Megan Powell of the S Expert Center. This video, I'm hoping, will help you work with your settings area in BridgeBase Online, commonly referred to as BBO. <laughs> if your settings are, are all organized in the way that you would like, then your mechanical use of BBO will be a little easier for you. So let's get started setting up or at least looking at the settings area of BBO so you can make decisions for how you want BBO to operate for you. So your job then is to go to the BBO online registration um, or login screen and you put your login here and your password and you press the login button. Now that takes you to the Bridge Base Online homepage. Across the top here, you see this black banner. It says Bridge Base Online Home. And this is the area from which you will operate in BBO, whether you're playing just solitaire by yourself, whether you are playing in the casual area with your bridge friends, or whether you're playing in an actual competitive bridge game. If you look all the way over to my far, to the far right here on the screen, I have four tabs here. Message, people, history, account. Now I'm on a laptop or a desktop. If you're on an iPad, you would see these tabs as buttons across the bottom of your screen. Now I want to operate uh, with you here in the account tab. So I'm going to press the account and then I'm going to open up this wide bar to show all of the account area. Looking at the far, the right here, and you see a black banner with the white word account. And then below that you see little black headings, profile settings, convention cards, deal archive. And below that is your profile area. Now I have a separate video that helps you open up this profile screen deeper to make sure you have all of your um, intended profile information loaded up. Notice I have a my BBO ID here, Megan Powell. I have my not visible password underneath it. I use my real name in BBO, Megan Powell, um, on my uh, display screen because I want my friends in BBO to be able to find me easily. I always designate my skill level as private, not because I I mind or care if somebody sees that I've listed something else, but rather I don't think anybody is so clearly one kind of player or another that I just don't bother to display it at all. And then because I'm operating out of the USA, I've chosen USA as my country. Now, we're going to use, or at least work in the settings area. So let's go back up here where we have the four little black headings, profile settings, convention cards, deal archive. And I'm going to choose settings. Now notice up and down the right side, you have red little lever, uh, blue, excuse me, green little levers and white little levers. They're little toggle switches on off. Green is you've turned that aspect on and white is you've turned that aspect off. Now I'm going to tell you that in the general section up here, you should leave these three items as green, split screen, sound effects on, animation. Leave them green on. Where you will start to change some things is as we move into this playing area on the right. Now you'll notice that some of my levers are white and two of them are green. Pictures of cards is turned on as green and I'll show you what that means in a minute. Confirm bids and confirm cards are turned off right now. They're white. Again, in a minute, I'm going to show you what those three things are. Pictures of cards, confirm bids, confirm cards. Now you can change confirm bids to green and confirm cards to green here. You'll also be able to change it when you play solitaire for yourself. Right now, I'm going to turn it off. Kibitzing. If you were going to go sit at another table in BBO and watch other people play, how do you want the cards displayed as you're watching? I want you to be careful about kibitzing. You can only go and watch someone else play if they've either invited you or if you've asked them and they've approved. All right. Um, down as you low, uh, move down the screen, another area that you might care about right now is the sound area. 
Do you want sound coming out of your computer when certain things happen? When uh, cards are shuffled, meaning you're being offered a brand new hand in either solitaire or in a bridge game, when a new hand appears, you'll get a shuffle sound. That gets your attention. Oh, we're starting a new hand. Do you want a sound to turn on to, to, to happen in the computer when it is your own turn to either bid or play? so that you don't lose track when to do something. I like to keep mine turned on. That's why it's green. I also like the sound to occur when the card is played. It helps me track what's going on. So those three things, shuffle cards, your turn to bid and play, card played, I would make sure are green. So the most important things right now that I would tell you that make sure that they are green, in the general section, make sure all three th items are green. In the playing section, we're going to talk about picture of cards, confirm bids, confirm cards in a minute. And I'll show you when we actually use cards, how to decide whether you want those three things in play. And down the bottom, sound. I would simply tell you to keep all of these on green so that you get a sound effect when something new happens. Now, that's the account tab in BBO. That's your settings area. Where you then apply that and see that is perhaps when you are playing solitaire or whether you're playing in a real bridge game. I'm going to take us into bridge solitaire so I can show you around that aspect and talk about that concept of the three things under the playing area, pictures of cards, confirm bids, confirm cards. So let's go into solitaire together. Again, on this Bridge Base Online homepage, I'm going to come to this blue banner that says Play or Watch Bridge. And underneath that on the left, I see the word Solitaire. And I'm going to click it. And then all I want to do right now is play Bridge for free. Solitaire. You can also go into Just Declare, which is also free. You don't do any bidding at all there. You just play hands. You're given a bridge contract and you play the hands. Just play bridge for free is where you bid and play. And then over on the right, find bridge master. That's an area where you can practice and get answers to your dilemmas. All right. So I'm going to go into just play bridge free. The system is giving me a hand to play. Now I want you to notice that this hand is laid out in what we call paper format. So that if you had a handout, a PDF, let's say, that you printed out from us and you had the hands listed, they would look like this. The suits stacked one on top of another. If you wanted to see the version that you often see online, you would come up to the settings button and you would find pictures of cards. Notice that button is now in the off position. If I were to click it to on, and then press close, I would see the horizontal picture version of my hand. You can choose which way you want to see this hand laid out. You can choose it either as that horizontal layout or the paper layout. Now, for the moment, I'm going to show you that it is in paper layout. Notice that I can see my spades, then my hearts, then my diamonds, then my clubs stacked. Now, east was the dealer. I'm south. I'm always south in solitaire. And east has passed. I've counted up my high card points, and I have 15 high card points, and this is a balanced hand, 4432. I'm going to open one no trump. Now, when I do that, my partner across the table just bid a Jacoby transfer. So I'm going to bid the two spades that she wants me to bid. And we end up in two spades. Now, I'm the declarer in two spades. I wonder how this is going to go. Now, take a look at what happens now. West has led the Jack of Diamonds, right? I'm south of the declarer. West has led the Jack of Diamonds. If you look at North's dummy now, you will see that the diamond suit is highlighted in yellow. Now, granted, there's only the singleton ace of diamonds. 
That's the only card highlighted, but however many diamonds I had in dummy right now would be highlighted because the system wants me to make sure that I know which suit has to be approached next. Now look above dummy's hand. You have the uh, south listed as the declare in two spades, and then you have these two boxes underneath that contract. You have this short horizontal box with a zero in it, and you have the long vertical box with a zero in it. You and I, as, as the declare and dummy, are the long vertical box. The little short box belongs to east and west, our opponents. Now, when I play this first trick, and east and east follows suit, and I play it with play the three, I've just won this trick with the ace of diamonds. Notice at the top, there's a one now in that vertical box. I've won one trick. Also, the system has all of dummy lit up. That's telling me that the next card must be played from dummy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play out this hand. No, I'm just going to play it out on my own so that I can get you to the end of this hand to talk more about your mechanics. So join me when I finish this hand. Okay. Now I've played seven winning tricks in the 12 tricks that have been played so far. If you look at the top of the screen, you still see my two spades by south contract identification. Below that, it says that east and west have won five tricks. In the long vertical box, you and I, north and south, have so far won seven tricks. And we have one more trick to play. And if you notice in my south hand, the ace of hearts is highlighted to tell me that the play comes from south's hand. So I'm now going to play trick 13. And I know my ace of hearts is a winner. So I will play my ace of hearts. Everybody else will play. And now the hand is over. And it will tell me that I've taken eight tricks. My score is 110 points. Great. And then it says, if you want to play the next hand, you can click continue. Now, I want you to listen to the sound. When I click continue, you should hear a shuffling sound. In the settings area, I set up that bottom sound area for everything to be turned on, turned green. I want to hear what's happening. So listen carefully. I guess it doesn't do that. Interesting. Now, here's another hand. On this hand, I am the dealer. I know that because if you look at the top above the bidding area, you'll see the number three in a rectangular sort of box. And you see the D at the bottom of that blank below the number three, where it tells you that this is board three. See the D? It says that South is the dealer. Now, I'm going to go back into settings right now. Still showing pictures of cards, but now I want to talk about what's down at the bottom of this settings box. It's confirm bids and confirm cards. They are both turned off. I'm now going to turn them on. I want to show you what happens if those two items are turned on. And again, you could have set this up in the settings area early. Now, it's my turn to bid. I have a five card or longer major and I have 13 high card points. I'm going to open one spade. Ooh, I have this big yellow OK button. Well, that's the confirm bid option. When I turned that to on a minute ago, what happens is that when I go to make a bid, the system will stop and force me to confirm that I meant one spade. If I have it turned off, I could have bid something incorrectly and not been able to undo it. There is no undo. So to confirm bid, I would then press OK. And then there's all kinds of other crazy bidding going on. I'm not even going to worry about what it is. We're not even going to talk about it. I'm just going to, for the sake of argument, bid three spades. I don't even know if it's right. I don't care. But notice, I must choose Okay, because I have confirm bid on. I turned confirm bids to on. So I'll press okay. We'll see where we end up. All right. Apparently, East and West want this more than we do. I'm going to pass. Again, I must press okay. Now, 
let's talk about this confirm cards. I have that turned on. What that means is every time I go to play a card, it's going to ask me, do I really want to do that? Look at the bottom of my screen. See my hand? It's all yellow, all highlighted in yellow. That's because the contract is four hearts by east. You can see that up the top above the bidding box. I, in south, am on opening lead. It wants me to lead a card. So you know what? I'm going to lead the ace of diamonds. And notice when I click on it, I had to double click to make it work. All right. Now I've won that trick. No, I'm sorry. I didn't win that trick. If I go to play this card now, I have to follow suit and I'm going to play the 10 of clubs. It's not going to play it. It puts a little yellow ring around it, but it doesn't play it. I have to double click to confirm card play. So again, that happened because I chose confirm bids and confirm cards. If I turn confirm cards, man, confirm bids off and close. Now, when I play a card, the second I touch the card, it will play. So I'm, let's just say I'm going to um, follow suit here and I'm going to win. Uh, um, and I can't, excuse me, I can't follow suit. I have to discard. I'm going to discard the two of diamonds just for the heck of it. Notice as soon as I pressed it, it, it played. I don't have any choice. Uh-oh, they're going to trump my king of clubs. So there is no confirm card on. The second I press a card, it gets played. If I turn confirm card back on and I play a diamond now, it doesn't play. I have to double click to play it. Okay, so these are your settings that you can use in solitaire. You can use them in the casual area. You can use them when you play in a real game. Pictures of cards. If I do that, it will show you the layout of the cards across the bottom that are yours. It will stack everybody else's cards. Okay, um, the settings, confirm bids and confirm plays. If they're on, confirm bids means you must press OK. In order for your bid to go through, confirm cards means you must double click. If you turn them off, you're at the mercy of, of hitting the wrong card. If that's something that happens, there is no undo. All right. I'm going to press the back button to get out of here. I will show you the, uh, I'm going to press back again. And I'm going to press the casual button on the Bridge Base Online home screen. I have a whole different video that talks through the casual area that you can, um, work through on your own, um, but you should probably approach that separately. So this is the way that you get into the solitaire area, and I'm going to stop sharing here. This is the way you get into the solitaire. It's the way you work on some settings for your own use so that your mechanics work for you in BBO. If you have questions, ask. Bye-bye.